All right, time for part four of the big rant, or in other words, why I am an old fart. Now, about my hair, because somebody commented in on that, I do try to comb this haystack before I record, but it just does what it wants to. But first, because somebody said I should, I'm going to rant about toilets. Yeah, this is a bit of a joke rant. But don't you hate it when you're in there, taking a dump or whatever, and somebody else is desperate to go? If I had a penny for every time this has happened to me, I'd be drowning in cash by now. It's either that or you both need to go at the same time. I think every house should have at least two toilets. So, okay, everybody happy that I've ranted about that? Okay then, let's get on with the real rants. So now I'm going to rant about modern footwear. Now, what kind of shoes would you say need the most grippy soles? Of course, the answer is trainers or sneakers especially if you're doing indoor sports. And that's how it was back in the good old days. Trainers were grippy. Fast forward to now though, and it's pretty much the other way around. You know, around about the turn of the century, they started putting grippy soles on everything except trainers. You know, the actual kind of footwear where it would make the most sense. These days it's hard to find a good pair of trainers. Have people just forgotten the standards on how things should be made? I've got another little mini rant here, so I'm going to rant about weather, and then I'm going to rant about smartphones. So modern weather sucks. Now, I remember when I was little, how the weather used to be back then, and it's totally different to how it is now. I mean, back then, summer was the dominant month. You had about maybe five months of summer, nice warm temperatures with the occasional heat wave now and then, and while the winters were colder back then, I mean, back then we actually used to get snow. Winter only lasted about one, maybe two months at the most, and uh, yeah. These days, however, it's the other way around. You get one, maybe two months of summer, if you're lucky. And about five to six months of gloomy, depressing, cold winter. Yep, as soon as October ends, the temperatures sink as my heart sinks down into my boots. Or... At least my socks, anyway. I hate winter. It's no wonder I get so depressed this time of year. I'll say this, though. The past couple of years, the weather has been a little bit more like it used to be, so, uh, I don't know, maybe it's turning around again and being, like, good weather again, but I'm not holding my breath. And finally, smartphones. Oh, yeah, you knew this one was coming. I know I've already ranted about smartphones, but I still need to vent. I hate the way that smartphones have turned people into tech zombies. I mean, people these days are obsessed with their phones. They cannot put the damn thing down for more than two seconds. You know, whip their phone out and text their mate or post their latest moment of their perfect lives on Facebook or whatever it is people do on phones now. In fact, they use their phones for everything except talking. You know, the one thing that phones were actually originally designed for. And it appears that phones these days mean more to people than their significant other. You, let's say a couple go out for a romantic dinner, could be gay, could be straight, doesn't matter. Inevitably, one of them or both of them will get their phones out and start texting away and completely ignore each other. Yep, sounds like a great relationship to me. And these things are a danger too. Especially if you're driving a vehicle and you cannot take your eyes off the screen for more than two seconds, you know. Texting while driving is a classic example. I'll say this, I said this before and I'll say it again. I never thought, in this world of complete stupidity that we live in, people would actually text while driving. I didn't think anybody would actually be that stupid. I thought it was a joke the first time I heard about it, but no. People really are that stupid. Another thing is, if you're walking around and eyes glued to the screen, you can walk into things, you can walk into walls, fall down holes, get hit by something, you know, mind that bus, what bus, splat, and get this, right? Now, I'm not making this up, this is absolutely true, but I've heard that in Germany, they've installed special pedestrian crossings with an extra set of lights on the ground because people cannot take their eyes off their phones for more than two seconds. Yeah, glue to their phone and cannot 
pay attention to their surroundings so they have the lights on the ground. And people these days, they use their smartphones for everything. I mean, I can see how convenient that could be, but, you know, if your phone breaks, you lose everything. And I don't see why people would want to use their phones when they could be using a computer with a proper screen and a keyboard and a mouse and... Uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh uh, yeah, if you're wondering what this device is, I'm holding my mouse so I can pause and unpause my video capture. See, I'm using a computer. I don't know why people wouldn't want to stare into their phone so much eye strain reading all that tiny text and when they could have it on a much bigger screen and it would be so much easier. I tried using a smartphone once. And let's just say I didn't get on with it at all. I just didn't see the appeal of doing everything on a smartphone. You know, tiny little touch screen and you're trying to tap a little tiny text box and it's no way you can be accurate on that. It's just So that's hard to use. And I tried looking something up on YouTube. And although I managed to do that and got the thing up that I wanted to see, it charged me for that. So I thought, oh, sod this and put the thing down and never picked it up again. I just hate the way smartphones have replaced basically everything. You know, computers, TVs, game consoles, video cameras, whatever. This isn't the world I knew. No, the world I knew used separate devices for everything, and some people might think that's very inconvenient, but that's the world I used to know. This modern world of just doing everything on your phone just seems weird and alien to me. You know, used to using a desktop computer for everything. Well, not everything, but, you know, web surfing and games and doing various computery things. So now you know why I'm so depressed. I just simply cannot adapt to this modern world and the modern ways of doing things. I just cannot adapt to all these changes. Now, I'm stuck in the 90s, and I live life like it's still the 90s. In fact, I often forget just how much time has passed. My perfect world would be a world where nobody is noisy, I'm young again and never age, people's tastes are more like mine, TV, films and music would be more like it used to be, in fact, everything would be more like it used to be, and there wouldn't be any of those other things that just generally annoy me. In fact, I'm going to do a video about what my perfect world would be, I'm going to do that sometime, probably, probably next month or so. So I've got a lot, other, a lot of other things to do in the meantime. I mean, I've got to get back to doing Call Do Claims Electronic Workshop. And before I do that, I've got to um, look for a better camera. Because there's just no point in doing the electronics videos until I get a better camera. So I'm going to be looking for one of those. Anyway, I've gone off track a bit. So, uh, yeah, where was I? This world has gone to hell. And it's not showing any signs of getting any better. I mean... This might be a great world for some people, but it's certainly not a great world for me. It's like, this world has been tailor-made to be as anti-me as possible. It's like I've gone into a parallel universe where everything went from things I do like, to things I don't like. This modern world is just so weird to me that I just don't get along with it. It's nothing like the world I used to know. And like I said before, I just cannot adapt to changes. Do you realise it's been so long since I've experienced being happy that I've actually forgotten what being happy feels like? Yeah, I'm not joking here. I've literally forgotten what being happy feels like. I know it's feeling good, but I just... You know, I just really just don't know what it feels like anymore. So I'm not exactly sure what happy is. But it must be a hell of a lot better than what I feel now. Anyway, I don't want to bring you down any further, so I'm going to end this video now. And next time I do one of these kind of videos, I'm going to talk about what my perfect world would be. So, until next time, goodbye.